Okay, I just wanted to make a quick little video here of showing my progress with my homemade hand engraver that was inspired by first Sean Hughes um, by making homemade hand engraving equipment. And then I saw Rick Alexander um, make this ammo box. So it's kind of a, you know, mix between the two. And Rick had come up with this and I followed his directions. Um, it's not complete or wired yet, but there's the speed control right there. And the on-off switch, which will be hooked up. This is for the light. Um, you can see the top of them there. My on-off switch is like one of these type of emergency switch things. So it looks like the ammo box. And cut a hole for the circle in the back, which kind of have to repaint with some green paint. And I have a... Uh, let me show you here. A power thing that will fit in there. So that should be pretty nice. I cut the hole to be exact and that should look like that. So that way I don't have a wire hanging out the back all the time and I can unplug it. Inside, now if you ask, is a little modded out um, 12 volt compressor. This has been cut off the power. That's going to be wired directly to the speed control, which... Um, this here has a little cylinder inside, of course, and that's pumping up and down, but the valves are sealed shut, glued shut, actually, um, making it so the pump just goes and um, through there. This is your power supply, turning your 12 volt so you can plug it into a normal 110, kind of like a converter. I um, don't know what to call this. Actually got a pretty small fan here, but it'll be working. It's 50 inch. It's what fit in this little ammo box underneath here for me and where I wanted to put it hanging out the back because, um, so that's my fan and the fan's pretty small. On the front, you have a, um, actual tattoo foot switch plug would go in here on off just like this on off but this one is actually um, like a tattoo foot switch that goes in there and this is where your air comes out going and doing that oscillating thing so here's my little bag of things that I've been gathering like the quarter inch hose with the 170 inner diameter here's the tattoo switch um, it's just a foot pedal you have to see it got a guitar plug on it basically quarter inch um, just this was my 80 inch fan but seemed to be too big for me this here is what I made um, this was to the specifications let me set down the I guess I'll leave it in my hands so this is to the specifications of Rick's um, graver. That's what I made. It's not the sharpest tool in the shed, but it definitely looks like it may work. It does have that millimeter of shake. I can adjust that. It is just, if you look, about a millimeter. Um, and they meet right in the middle like you're supposed to um, this doesn't come out too easy it's I can hang on it quite a bit but it's still in there um, meaning this I'm gonna get my finger under there it's cold I guess huh Try and take the top part out, but taking it out with only one hand. Here, let me set this up here and see if I can just do the video like that for a moment. 
There we go. That might be a little better. Just for a moment. So if you can see this thing, I want to take it apart so you can see it. Um, it's pretty cool. There's the hole. Goes right through to the top there, if you can see. Um, there's a little spring with a little cylinder in there. No, it doesn't look too smooth, but I didn't have much sandpaper that was best. I made my own little nipple on the top of it. If you can see that. So there's a little recess in the back to hold the spring. And um, I tell you my there's the tip of it. I don't know why I couldn't get it out. There you go. The business in yo. And then this was just some little half inch bolt or whatever. I mean nut. It's all done on the drill press. It's not really centered, but it's working. And um, that's it, man. I just thought I'd share that with you. I know it's kind of a long explanation, but it took me a little while to figure this thing out. This does come in and out easier. I just... There we go. So to me, I think it's actually loose enough. If not, I have two more. Um, there you go. There's the spring. Don't want it to go bouncing off the you know, one side that fits, one side that doesn't. To tell you the truth, I kind of think that it'd be nice to drill a hole just in there, just enough to where the spring sits. Um, so that way it doesn't really block that hole down there. I don't know. it has got to be something for that so the spring doesn't block the... So you can hear it give you that um, moment of, uh, there it is, yeah, pretty cool, huh? not too bad, not too shabby, considering I take it a couple days to make it, and when I blow um, with the compressor and the hose through here, you can hear it, and just turn it on and off, go you can hear it move. I don't have my compressor working yet where it actually oscillates, but I can see that this thing will will um, will work. Nice. Your graver will cut. <laughs> it's like that TV show, Forged in Gravers. Anyways, thanks, man, for help show me how to do this, Rick and um, Sean. 